saves a. It's one panel or one like yeah, w- one maybe two panels. Of and he saves a guy from a truck that's carrying radioactive waste, <laughs> which splash into his wounds because he gets <laughs> injured in this like, accident. Yeah, he, it splashes like just into his eyes. <laughs> and he like of all the ways to go blind like this is so like unwieldy unnecessary <laughs> <laughs> well that's how it happened james <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, that classic injury when you get run over by a truck you're you go blind from <laughs> whatever it spills in your eyes yeah there's some nasty looking stuff inside of those barrels <laughs> we don't even see the nasty he stuff but the thing is, he could have just been normally blind. Like, it didn't need to be radioactive at all. At least for this first issue and, like, for the short-term foreseeable future. You know, that that's a great point. Because he does build the skills with the with the punching. Uh, and then the stick character helps him build other skills with, um, with seeing. Yeah, and, seeing, and even the like, skills he's learning... Are like, like I love. I liked how when he first started training with the guy with the stick, he, the guy was this guy with the stick was like, "You're undisciplined. You're gluttonous. You know, you're or you like." It was all like character traits. It wasn't like you're not your left hook isn't strong enough. It's like you need discipline, and that's what I'm going to teach you. You know, you need focus, and I think it's cool that those are his strengths. Yeah. He can, he can focus. You know, he had, we, we all get all the information. You know, you can, if you hear, there's a lot of noise out there, but if you can focus in on it, if you can like focus your eyeball, you know, you can see better. Your, your, your mind's eye. Yeah, exactly. Cause he doesn't have any eyeballs now. He is. Doesn't need them. He's patched up and he is probably he feeling, focus. probably feeling sorry for himself, but he makes his way out into the world. Where he mm. meets this stick character and he, uh, tries to make it back into the gym and get that focus. He has get... to relearn from the bottom up. Okay, Larry, when he's in the gym and he's blind, <laughs> he, that... falls <laughs> off the, he falls off the unparalleled bars and he turns to look at who's there and he's crying. Okay, so they had to come up with something that you couldn't do if you're blind in the gym. And there's pretty much. <laughs> You know, pretty much everything you can do without seeing. You know, lift a barbell up, do a chin up. Sure. But uh, the the parallel bars. <laughs> Where's that other bar? <laughs> Gotta be able to see for those ones. Yeah, so he crashes hard, turns to look to see who's there. That panel really, that really breaks my heart, actually. <laughs> it's like just, <laughs> like his eyes are just like too like the... <laughs> smudged up. <laughs> yeah, the art on that panel might have lost a couple of points, but <laughs> but that he's not discouraged. I mean, he's no, discouraged there, it, but Stick is not. It gets the point across. Like I think this art does a really good job of like being a device for the story to be told through. Yeah. Like that panel shows to you, like, oh, he's not able to do a physical thing. Right now, if that was a Savage Dragon, that uh, Savage Dragon looking. nineteen. Uh, whatever I said it was, um, the original printing, there would be four paragraphs of <laughs> exposition there. <laughs> you know, lots of, lots of words in those old comics. But this is an old comic too. Not that old though. But, uh, yeah. uh, Stick teaches, uh, teaches young Matt how to focus his mind, how to see inside his mind and, 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 and use his ears. And he actually starts by like, they they start shooting bow and arrows in the basement of this <laughs> building and and this yeah. was this was a part that i really really gravitated to because once you like the part where we, he's shooting the bows and arrows and he accidentally shot it out the one little square glass thing in the corner of the... well once he does it he can do it a thousand mm-hmm. times, a million times over he can split that yeah. arrow every time now cuz he's done it's it once where... Yeah. And and that's what like I mean like um I just saw a guy on uh, on Reddit and he mm-hmm. and it was a six it was the six hour backflip and he 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 spends six hours trying to learn how to do a backflip 
And by the time, what? you know, and he does it. And then he keeps doing it. Like he. Oh, like, I thought you meant he was going to do a backflip for six hours. No, no. Well, he tries to do a backflip for six hours. Finally succeeds. Oh. It is hard How to watch. How to start off with? Not very. <laughs> I wish I could do a backflip. Okay. Interesting. But what, I don't did have he start, to. Was, he's, yeah, did he start off as good as you? Uh, Probably as good as I could be. But I don't wow, know. That's he's inspiring. Probably, he seemed bit in better shape, actually. <laughs> okay. But that's yeah. Backflip isn't something like you can just start. Right, but he just the did, and he, and he and he chose it and did it. I was impressed. Hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Focus. So, All it yeah. takes is focus and discipline, and you can learn a lot of things in a short period of time. Right. Uh, and that's what Matt does, and he gets better, better, better. Splits the arrow. So. Th- I really did like that arrow scene too, Larry, but that he did it with smell. Oh yeah, he's like, <laughs> it's like, I don't know, maybe it's, it's kind of a nitpicky thing, but like, I can understand hearing, you know, but how would smell work in that situation? <laughs> you could, you could, um, you could smell the dust in the air. I I don't know. That's 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 one nitpicky thing I have with uh with the Daredevil character too mm-hmm. is this Does that kind of thing come up more? Yeah, it's, it's sort of like a uh, uh, like like you get almost like a radar type thing happening, you know. Uh, they they over like assume that you know he can do it so then they kind of stretch the powers a little bit. Exactly. I mean like here he is mm-hmm. uh him and stick uh who yeah, the is first also, issue he's smelling a, a bullseye. Who is also blind, and they uh they're bouncing across rooftops, you know, mm-hmm. and you know how does how does he know how far to jump? Is there a, a Bruce Lee movie with like a blind main character? Hmm. Now nah, you got me. Ah, uh, darn it! That's a great. I panel. like blind. Yeah. Well, because I this. They're like having to relearn all this stuff from being blind kind of reminded me of this. It's like this story I heard through Tai Chi where it's like this Tai Chi master. Uh, the way he became a master was like he got in trouble for doing something wrong and they broke every bone in his body. So he had to relearn every movement in life and he learned it through the way of Tai Chi. And then he became like the greatest master because he had to start from the very most basic movement and learn all the way up. That's a pretty cool story. Yeah. Yeah, it always stuck with me. And so I was like, oh, this Daredevil character, you know, when you go blind and then he has to learn how to do all these things through his new senses. Yeah, I want to pause on this art where he's jumping across the building with stick. I just think that's pretty good. It's a great panel. It's a double page spread. And, and it's just him and, and stick and they're just like the, 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 uh, like also we didn't mention that this takes place in Hell's Kitchen, New York. Mm-hmm. And so it's just of this. Course. And it's, and it's, and it must be in like the seventies or something. This is gritty. This is gritty New York. I was even going to guess like earlier than that, like the fifties. Well, this I don't car, know why. This, this car looks like. Like a late model '70s type car, so yeah, yeah I, I, I kind of put it into the '70s. No, you're right. You're I guess right. I guess there's no bell bottoms and stuff. It almost even looks like the '80s. It could be the '80s, but because uh, like okay, some of the the, the hairstyles look similar to what we were rocking in the '80s. It's all the past to me, like. <laughs> but a uh, distant past. So we've already got the backstory on on uh, Matt's dad. Yeah. And the guy that he works for and he is he's a fixer. He's a fixer and he has had several Matt's dad has had several great fights. And yeah. uh he thought he was a great winner but he found out the fix was in. The fix was in and the fixer is going to make a lot of money on this next fight because he, but not if Bruce Willis from Pulp Fiction has anything to say about exactly. it. Exactly. And here's my favorite panel of this. I want to come back to this when we talk about the arc, but, uh, um. He's not taking the dive. He doesn't, he doesn't take care the if dive. They kill me. And he doesn't care if they kill me. And he does this all through, like, the artist and the, and the storytelling 
it's it matches all, really well in this. In, yes. It, and, it, and it does it all in this, uh, don't be a quitter. And that's what I, yeah. told, that's what I told my boy. Don't be a quitter. I'm not a quitter. Even if, yeah. even if four pages from now, I get beat to a bloody pulp and shot dead. And shot dead. <laughs> oh, what an ending. What right. an ending. So, a, a per, a, a, uh, there were so many lessons and morals taught that like created this character. Like this, this issue is like pure character development backstory, like setting the morals and the guiding compass and the principles and why, why the abilities and why the, who he's against. It, it does it all. Um, should we talk about the art, I guess? Yeah. Uh, so the panel that, I, well, so, uh, John Romita Jr. here is like, mm. I, I feel like he's channeling, uh, Jack Kirby. Like, uh, okay. Especially when you see, I can see that for sure. When you see like those big square shoulders of all his characters, these big knobby hands, like, like they're square. They're not like, they look like, they look like hands, but they're, they're square. And then he mm-hmm. also does something with, uh, lines. Lots and lots of lines. Yeah. Every single line on this page is just like, wow. And background. You especially see that on like the very first page of like him sitting in the, the alleyway. Like uh-huh. All of the, the stairs, the fire escape stairs going down. There's a lot of the lines. Yeah. That's, just I love all the line, all the line work, all of the detail in the backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Like uh, we see um, in the, in my favorite panel in in this book, it's it's uh, it's his dad, mm-hmm. and he is. Um, I got to get back to the. Panel. Is it is, is the one of his dad's face? No, it's the one where he is sitting. There in... are some really good ones of those. Oh yeah, there, actually, there really was. Um, uh no, it's the one where he's sitting in uh oh here right here. Uh um he's sitting in his corner and mm-hmm. reading this on my Kindle, it was a full, full size panel. And he's mm-hmm. sitting in his corner, he's got his hands uh well his his gloves in his in his in his at his at his crotch, and he's just like huh and he's hulking and you can even see behind him, underneath his legs, you can see the spectators' faces. Mm-hmm. It is such an awesome panel. And again, like all those little lines, you see all the little hairs on his leg, the mm-hmm. the boot laces, and you see water just streaming off him in sweat. And you can see a big, bulbous, black eye, but you know he's going to win the fight. You just know it. Yeah, and it's it's definitely got that style that you were talking about of... Well, it, it, I think that this panel is like very representative of what you were saying. It's so comic book. Wouldn't you yeah. wouldn't you say that this is a It's th- very comic book. That's a great way to put it. Yeah, it's like you, a classic comic book style. A classic comic book style, but um yeah, it it, it really yeah. it really just is classic well, comic book. And even so but then speaking even beyond like that that part when you were talking earlier about how well the writing and the art matched up there was this series where he it was talking about his dad and it's like he was on one side of the page it was examples of like him in the boxing ring doing things and on the other side was him as like an enforcer doing things oh it's like using your fists as good instead of as bad and there were like these four really solid examples of both sides that it was just like the writing and the art really matched well together to show like the proper way. Like not only was it telling the story of the dad, showing him as a good guy and a bad guy, like this moral split up the middle. It's like, uh, it, it, uh great page. Yeah. You know? Uh, I, I really, really did like this comic book, and I and it was paced really well. And then I was, I yeah, did, I was, and there's so much in it. I was gonna say that it sags a little bit in the middle, but after just like poking through these pages, I'm like, where could it have sagged? It, it didn't. Yeah. It was just like there was so much stuff put in. Yeah. All right, James. So you obviously, uh, 
Sound it sounds like you like this comic book. How did you rate this comic book? I almost think I had one more thing to say. Oh. <laughs>